<laughs> I don't think it's getting there. It's getting there, but it's just a little weird. I'm like, what the heck? Hey guys, it's Trev here back in the garage, and today we're going to be talking about auto summon. Now I want to do a video on this before, but I really want to give a chance to Tesla to have some updates to this. After V10, Canada got a nerfed version of summon, which was, you know, a few hundred meters, but now that's improved quite a bit. And I want to see after the latest update, if auto summon is usable. Is it? The question I want to answer is, is it honestly usable in everyday life, in a real world scenario, in a non- gimmicky way. So I'm going to put it through a couple tests first at the house, then on my street and then in some parking lots to see if this is actually usable. Now the first test should be pretty simple. I am just going to simply back the car out of the garage. Now I do mind you have a steep driveway and there is another car in the driveway, but it should be able to handle it no problem. It's also at a tilted angle, which gives it an extra challenge. So let's see how the auto summon does in this situation. Okay, just give you a better view of the angle of the driving situation. The, yeah, it's a bit steep there, but it should be able to do it. We have smart summon up, and then we're going to tell it just go down to street level. Oh yeah, it's already making the turn. Pulling forward now. That is a negative, folks. So steep driveways, no good. Okay, now that we're outside, the next test we're gonna do is see if it can drive down the street in my neighborhood. Now we're on a private street, so this should work, and then actually back up and come to pick me up. Okay, so go car, head down the street. Okay, so it's accelerating there, going pretty quick. Okay, now let's see for the way back. Now this could be useful if I, it was you know really crazy raining out and I wanted to be able to uh, not get super soaked and I was parked down the street. Well, let's see what it's doing there. Okay, so it's going for a full turnaround. So I would say the overall city street is pretty successful. It was able to head down the street, turn around and come back. So this would be kind of a useful test to see if it was parked down the street for me, I was coming out of a store or something like that and it wanted to come to me in light traffic or no traffic. But now it's time to put this thing through some more challenging situations to see how it does. Now, sorry for the lack of brightness here, but it's it's what it is. So right now we're at the back of basically a home hardware. I got to run in there because there's a postal office inside and ship a package for Christmas. So I'm parked right at the back of this kind of medium scale parking lot. And we'll see if it can come get me in the rain and uh, keep me a bit drier and if it actually works. Okay, so I'm all done and I'm out front of the store. Let's see if the car can come pick me up and keep me out of the rain. So it's taking a long way around here. Let's see where she's going. You know what, in, the, in some parking lots it does and some it doesn't, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that didn't work. Okay. Uh, basically what happened here was we have the front of the store and we have the parking lot that I was parked in. Now it pulled out to here, which is onto the main road to try to go around to the front. Now that would have normally worked if it was a parking lot, but because it was a city street and there's currently a limitation on these things driving on city streets, it's like, absolutely not. Uh, and it just came to a stop uh, in the middle of the road. It wasn't able to proceed. Now, this can come down to the mapping of these parking lots and kind of its restricted zones getting better and better over time. But overall, 
I would say in that style of parking lot where you have a city street right beside it, almost as part of, as part of the parking lot, it doesn't work in those uh, situations that well. But I'm not giving up. I know that I've seen it work and work well, but we have to give an honest and realistic test here and this is what's happening. So the next, I gotta, I dropped off my package. So next I'm gonna pick up a bottle of wine for dinner and we'll see how it does in that parking lot. It is always fun seeing people's reactions as well. I mean, no matter what, whether it's perfect or not, it is still incredibly impressive to see a car drive itself, whether it's doing it poorly or not. And this is a packed parking lot. Wow. Okay, that is a good spot. Well, this should provide the car some challenge. Now that was a really busy area, so I wanted to pull off to the side street first before I recorded my thoughts on that summit. And I'll probably narrate over it a little bit or maybe play some music or something because it took a while, but it did work and it actually worked really well. It was backing up and then another car came behind it. And what it actually did was pull forward back into the spot, stop, wait for it to go. And then it backed back up and very slowly, but it is raining out and it's not that maybe even the best visibility with all the dirt on the car, but then it came up and pulled up right to me and I was able to get in the car without getting wet. And if anyone is wondering, the cup holders are an egg, like a perfect fit for a wine bottle. That's like spot on. Now, I also want to give an honorable mention to our Costco trip the other day. Now, driving there to Costco, this was a crazy, crazy, busy parking lot and my uh, wife recorded this summon and it was, I mean, it was mad, mad busy. And I was honestly uh, a bit paranoid with summing it here, but I wanted to really give it a shot and give it a try. And even though it was very slow and it was very cautious of all the other drivers, it did make it to me no problem and come over and pull up in front so that we could load our Costco cart. Now, to load our Costco cart in the middle of the actual main entrance way is a bit of a dick move against the other people there because they have to wait for me then. And it also comes off as a bit showy, but overall the system does work. I just personally, I'm not gonna do this in the middle of a, an actual busy parking lot because I don't want to inconvenience too many other drivers until the system is a bit better. So overall, where does that leave us with Summon? Now, of course it is Summon Beta and that speaks to where it is right now. We had one really good success there in a really busy strip mall parking lot. And we had one uh, total failure when the car did not anticipate that it would have to cross out of private property into a public street in order to get to the other side of the parking lot on its designated route. Also at the house, I wanna point out that on any normal driveway, this system does work. I've done it at a friend's house before, it works no problem. Even with a slight incline decline, I have a really, really steep driveway and that's kind of an extreme situation, but in normal, it does work for pulling in and out of the garage. But beta is where it is. The system is not quite ready for everyday use. And as it keeps on updating, we'll keep testing it as the features go forward. But yeah, just not ready right now. So if you're curious about Auto Summon, I hope this video has helped you a little bit. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe as it really helps us in the YouTube rankings. And of course, of course, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, we do have a referral link in the description below that gives us uh, both some free supercharging miles. So that's awesome. Okay. Talk to you guys later.